I just dressed off Wolverines. And um, the reason you're looking at my vest right now is because I'm going to start doing reviews of my gear. So yeah, just um, I'm going to start doing reviews of my gear, like my vest, um, stuff like my backpack for my vest, stuff like that. So yeah, so let's just jump into this review. So this is just my Woodland Camo vest. I got it at a art local Army Surplus store for $99, so it was a roughly like $105. And what's nice about the Army Surplus store that I go to, if you get if you pay in cash, you get an additional like 10 to 15% off. So it was really nice. So this has tons of pockets, I'm just gonna go through all of them. This one can either be used for a little 500 round um, magazine or ammo pouch, walkie talkie, or a grenade. Alright, over here you have your um, patch pocket, I guess I'll call it. This one would hold, well, first on the outside you could put a patch because it's Velcro and it's Velcro. And it would hold whatever you choose. Maybe if you're, um, you know, you're going to be in multiple teams when you're in multiple teams you could hold your different pouches in here that's probably what I would do if I, I was in multiple teams I'm a team leader so right here is your three pistol magazine pouches or they're great for speed loaders each one can hold speed loaders um, they're adjustable so you can get one higher to hold in a bigger magazine right under that you have your built in um, holster there's a normal pretty normal holster it's just a buckle as adjustable for bigger rifles or bigger bigger pistols. So it's kind of cool. You can put a Desert Eagle in here. And this is originally kind of like this, but I opened mine up because I was holding my Desert Eagle in there until mine broke. But I'm going to get a new pistol sometime soon, hopefully. And up here you have your magazine pouch, or you could even try to put a speed loader in there. It's very nice. Then over here you have your three big pouches, which either you can put two 500 ammos in here, or you can put two M4 magazines, or actually, you can actually put AK mags in here. But this one, these two are mainly the front, this one kind of goes to your right side, so just know, know they're not going to be all in the front. Then, on the other side of the pistol, you have another big pouch for magazines. And I'll be right back. Alright, I'll continue the review. So, whenever you unzip the zipper, right in the middle, obviously, the normal zipper, is you will have all these pockets. Oh, let me go grab something really quick. This awesome belt comes with it too. Doesn't do much, but it's just you know a belt. It's pretty cool. So on the inside of the vest, over here, on the left side and the right side, so there and there, you have two um, pockets. Two you see your pockets set. Sometimes I'll put ammo in here too. So some of these for ammo. Or actually, if you saw my little Mac 11 review, this gun's actually small enough, even with this big magazine, to fit it in here. Or, you know, you can put whatever you want. You can actually maybe put a Claymore in here. I think it's big enough. But yeah, same thing on this side. And actually, there's something in there that I didn't take out, but, um, you know, it's just cool for nice little stuff. I have just some clips that I can um, attach one of my guns that has um, a clip on it to my back of my vest or something. And then right here, this is a big pocket. I didn't even notice this until I saw a similar one online and showed me it. This is really cool. I mean, I don't really recommend putting a gun in here. Um, maybe a bag of BBs if you want, like a bag that's like flat. Or even if you want to, if you film, um, you know, it hurts getting shot in the back, you could put like a black, I mean, cardboard in the back for extra armor and then to make your back straighter so it kind of feels more 
better. All right, so now we're gonna flip the whole bus over and go back. Get on the other side of the tripod. This thing is fully adjustable. This vest is fully adjustable. It has three straps on each side to adjust it. So on the back, you also have these adjusters, which I have folded because, you know, I'm smaller. And there's just Velcros. I did say there's um, metal clips up here. There was on each side. This is really nice because if you actually um, are hanging this on a hanger, you can put the hanger through like you would a t-shirt and stick it through like here. Let me show you what I mean. Which is a simple everyday hanger. Stick it in both. And just for extra support, make sure it doesn't fall. Stick it through here like that. So it ends up looking like that. Just nice. Actually, what I had is um. Oh, well, there's a couple things that you can do back here. One, you can um actually cut it like here and stuff. I don't know why I did it, but I ended up doing it. Cause I made it like a sniper thing. It's like right here. I had the main part going through here. Like the barrel went through here, here, and here, and here, and it went straight down on my back. But <laughs> there was no way near something where you could run around sniper on your back, being the one that I have, just because you know it's not meant to be there. So that. And then if you have this bag, this stuff, you can either put branches in here to make it even more woodland, or you can get stuff like this backpack, which I'm going to do a review on next, so go check it out. Um, it has this stuff, you clip it open, and then you just stick it on there. So yeah, I think that's about it. It was $100 at a local little army circle store. They have, I'm pretty sure they have different colors, I know they have black. I'm not sure if they come with the belt. And how you put on the belt is pretty simple. Let me zoom in down here. You just get your belt, unbuckle it, of course. Yep. I just kind of set it down. And then get this and unbuckle it. I gotta zoom in on the right thing, yeah. Unbuckle it and then do the Velcro. And then put this in, like this, and then fold it over with the Velcro. And then just stick it on the Velcro, like that, and then just button it. That way it's got two things of holding it. And it might be a little loose, but it's still, I mean, whenever you have these all around the back and stuff, like over here, it's not going to fall off. So she wants the button and the good Velcro. So yeah, I definitely would recommend go getting this. I know Air Idol has something close to this. Pretty sure Air Idol has a lot of this. Yeah, this is just a good deal, I think, for $100, getting a really good vest with all this stuff. And I mainly wanted the pistol built in because I, I don't like really having holsters unless it's like a leg holster, which I want to get. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this first gear review. So next will be this backpack. Oh, let me zoom out. This um, backpack, so we'll check that out. So see you guys later.